welcome to Kingdom Principles for Daily Living by Doxa Mission. At Doxa Mission, we believe in healing for the total person, spirit, soul, and body. I am Dr. Ndidi Dag. at the topic humility is key let us pray father we give you thanks and praise even as we get into your word i ask that you use me as a vessel unto honor help us lord that we will act on your word and apply it to our lives in jesus name amen humility Romans 2 of 3 says for I say through the grace given unto me to every man that is among you not to think of himself more highly than he ought to think but to think soberly according as God had dealt to every man the measure of faith One of the secrets of staying in the will of God is by not overestimating ourselves. Now let's look at what humility is. Humility is the quality or the act of being humble. And this is freedom from pride or arrogance. Looking at synonyms, synonyms usually help us look at other similar words to that particular word and gives us a deeper sense of the meaning. And other words similar to humility are meekness, modesty, servility, submissiveness. But let's just go into another scripture. Let's look at it and help to, in order to help us understand what the bible talks about humility first peter 5 5 says likewise ye younger submit yourselves to the older yeah all of you be subject to one another and be clothed with humility for god resisted the proud and give it grace to the humble now this is where we begin to see the importance of humility when you are humble God gives you grace but the thing with pride or being proud is that God will resist you according to this word now this is serious let us not put ourselves in a position where god has to resist us somebody who is in trouble with god i don't see who or what being in the universe can save you but thank god for his mercies they endure it forever One of the things we need to do is that whatever abilities we have, we should rate it with a sober outlook. We should look at whatever we have with humility. Whatever gift God has given to us, we should use it remembering that it is by the grace of God. We should keep a watch on ourselves. And when we catch ourselves getting puffed up with whatever successes, whatever greatness we get, we need to repent and remember that every good thing, every bit of success that we achieve has come by the grace of God and by his power. If we remind ourselves of this, it will help us 
keep control of whatever tendency to pride we have. One of the things that will help us also is to look back on our lives and see how many times we could have lost what God has given to us or we could have even lost our lives. See how many times when we were making mistakes, God pulled us through. Proverbs 16.8 says, Pride goeth before destruction and a haughty spirit before a fall. Pride goes before a fall. We have seen it born out in many believers, many people, even in our lives from time to time. We get an overblown idea or you see somebody who God is lifting up, gives an ability to the person. The person may be using it to glorify his name, but at some point in time, we get blown up and derailed and we get ourselves in a position that God begins to resist the person. When we begin to think we are so smart and we have it all figured out, it's just a matter of time before we are flat on our faces. That is not our portion in Jesus' name. I've remembered many times in my own life that things have happened. One of them is at a time after driving for many, many, many years and driving a particular route over and over and over, daily going to walk from Castries to Viewfort. I began to know the road almost like the back of my hand. I could tell you almost every inch of the road. I know what speed to use in a particular place, how to be careful and all that. And I began to be overconfident. And at that time, I became overconfident. God delivered me from a near accident that if it had happened, I will not be here talking to you. And this came just before the thoughts of, oh, I'm an expert driver. I know the road. I know my vehicle and things like that. And this is just one small example. There are many, many more in my own life. And I want you to think about your own life where you have lifted yourself up thinking that you know it all and you now see that you don't know it all. Biblical humility means believing what God says about you over anybody else's opinion believing what God says about you over anybody else's opinion about you even including whatever opinion you have it needs you to embrace who you are in Christ over who you are in flesh so it doesn't matter what situation you are in now if you go to the word of God and you see what God says or who God says you are. If you embrace it, you are not being proud. You are being what God says you are. You might think you are little, but God says that you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. If you have confidence in Christ, that is not pride. That is biblical humility. And this is where we need to focus. To be biblically or biblically humble is to be so free of concern for your own ego that those around you, you elevate them. You make their life meaningful. You sow into lives as much as you can. Now, many times people mistake austere living or poverty for being humble now this is not always true i just want to mention this while it is true that a lot of people with pride 
are either successful or rich. I have met many successful and or rich people. Success and rich riches are not the same. That are humble. And I've also met many poor people that are proud. Some of them are so proud that they even resist help that they obviously need because of pride of the fact that they cannot see themselves taking help from a particular person or, or um, entity. First Peter 5, 6 says, Humble yourself under the mighty hands of God that he may exalt you in due time. One of the things that we want God to do for us is to lift us up and exalt us. And what we need to do is submit ourselves to what God says we are. Humble ourselves under his hands. Believe what he says we are. Not count ourselves above who we actually are in Christ. And knowing that whatever we are achieving in life is by the grace of God and giving him glory for whatever it is that we are lifted up in. As we do this, his humility will be in our lives and his name will be glorified and will move forward in him and he will not resist us but move us forward in him. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for listening. If you were blessed by this message, please like it and share with others. Also, please subscribe to our YouTube channel for more messages at Doxa Missions. That is D-O-X-A-M-I-S-S-I-O-N-S on YouTube. You can also find us on Facebook at Doxa Missions and on Twitter at Doxa Missions. We are also on Instagram at Doxa Missions SLU. God bless you.